Hey everyone, my name is Steven. I'll be doing a quick unboxing, maybe a mini review of this Cessna 182. Um, it is battery controlled. It is 2.4 gigahertz radio controlled. And uh, apparently this is like the, maybe at least the second um, edition because the first, this, it says that it's improved upon the first edition. Um, there's twin motors. There's no other moving parts, which is cool. It's just those two, two twin motors on this bad boy. Um, it says age is 14 plus. We're giving this to someone who's actually 12 years old. My nephew, um, for Christmas, he does a ton of radio controlled stuff. Hopefully that's, it's fine for him, but he knows enough about radio controlled stuff that he can probably use this just fine. But, uh, nothing else in the box other than this little tray. And, uh... Japanese instructions. Okay, so English is on one of the sides, and it's okay. The English is not perfect. They could probably go through it again, but this is not a super expensive gift. So, I mean, it's it's okay. I mean, you can probably put it together without even reading the instructions. Now, touching this, this is foam, so if you get into an accident with this, it might crack. That is super flimsy, but then again, this is like, a, you know, it's supposed to fly. Um, really flimsy but I, i've never i'm not a model plane person i don't know what's going on with this but there's the hookups there there's the propellers <clears throat> really cool looking but again it's just like a it's literally like a piece of styrofoam i just hope that you don't sit on this thing or break it or whatever <clears throat> comes with a screwdriver to put some additional parts on maybe um that's nice when they include that looks like there's a couple of batteries included that's pretty nice Everything's kind of neat and organized in here. <clears throat> in here too, here's a tail piece. Again, I mean, I could I could pop this thing in half easily, I think. I mean, there's a little bit of give to it, but... Oh, man, be careful when you're messing around with this thing. Maybe that's why it's 14 up. You don't want the kid to, like, smash it. Like, if you step on this thing or if the dog bites into it, you're probably done. So be careful with this thing. Again, nice... I mean, it feels like this almost. A little bit denser than like a styrofoam. It's literally just styrofoam um, with some electronics, which is, again, maybe, I don't know much about these planes, but here's some plastic embedded in there. And I think there's that's where a battery goes in, is in this top portion. Don't want to break anything. Um, yeah, there's like a, <clears throat> is that another battery? So is there three batteries that come in this thing? Here's another battery. So that's kind of cool. I don't even know where you hook it up at. Anyways, it's it's in there. There's another battery compartment. Um, so that's all <clears throat> pretty cool. On off switch. I'm assuming this is just an antenna down there. Sorry, again, this is my initial reaction, just an, an un unboxing um, video with me not even really messing with this thing because I frankly can't until we um, until Christmas. So um, we can update the review of how this thing performs at that point. <clears throat> And then here is another tail piece. Again, just, it's styrofoam. And if you, if I were to just do, psh, it would snap in half. So it's not plastic, but it's super, I mean, all this stuff together, I'll put it all in my hand. I mean, it weighs nothing. Like this weighs absolutely nothing. So that's how they get this thing to fly. So I'm sure it's fun. I'm sure it'll be really cool. And it wasn't like a $300 gift, you know, it's like I'm not expecting the world with this. So uh, it'll be nice to probably use for a couple of seasons before it accidentally gets stepped on or the dog eats it or something like that. So um, just a really cool design though, if you're a, a plain person, which he is and his father is. So um, we think that this will be a nice gift. That's all that comes in the box, really giftable. Um, we'll make sure to update the review here on Christmas, but if you're planning on giving a, a gift for Christmas, oh, this is a cool thing. You know what? Let me show you the remote too. I didn't even realize it. The most heavy, the heaviest thing in here is this remote, which feels okay. It's not the best thing in the world. It feels okay. It's not bad. It's just a, uh, I'm just used to an Xbox 360 remote. Um, anyway, it's pretty easy. I mean, you just type this or push this in. I'm assuming that turns it on and then on the back, this is probably why you would need the screwdriver. Put your batteries inside of there. It looks like they're double A. Um, there's an antenna on the top up and down here, and then left and right here. So I think that's easy controls. If you wanna give this to a 10 year old, I'm pr pretty sure they're fine. I mean, they play video games all day anyway, so they know what they're doing. Um, no other buttons on here, so I'm assuming this is lift and um, to make it go down, and this is to make it go left to right. So super, I bet this is just super fun to, to mess around with as a young kid, or an adult probably, um, just to have these very basic controls and fly around a plane. Like how cool is that gonna be on 
Christmas to, to get this you know flying around. So anyways, hope that this uh, review helps. If it does, you know, make sure to give it a like, or if it doesn't, make sure to uh, leave a comment if you have any, if you have any questions or, or concerns. So I uh, appreciate everyone's time and I hope the review helps.